Hidden in the western suburbs of Tokyo lies its best kept secret, Jindaiji Temple. Hometown of the classic anime Gege no Kintaro, you can see a lot of interesting things here. And if you don't like anime, don't worry, there's plenty of other amazing things to do here, like trying these Japanese snacks. One bite, one bite, Janga. No. One bite. So come along as we explore Tokyo's best kept secret. Hey, welcome back to another Kokoro Kompas video in Japan. Yeah, it's so nice to be back in these cozy streets. So peaceful. The most peaceful place on earth. I cannot imagine a more peaceful place than the suburbs of Japan. But anyway, we're meeting my cousin again with his girlfriend Mirna. And we're gonna go see some fireworks. And we're also gonna go to Jindaiji Temple. So uh, yeah, we're gonna head to Shinjuku and meet them right now. To get to Jindaiji, you have to take the Chuo line all the way to the western outskirts of Tokyo. It's actually a nice change of scenery from the big city. Then you take a short little bus ride. The whole trip from Shinjuku to Jindaiji is about one hour, but trust me, this place is well worth it. So after a long trip, we have arrived at Jindaiji Temple. We didn't forget about my cousin, he's here as well. Mirna's there as well, looking very fashionable. Mirna, show your fashionable side. Wow. <laughs> and now we're gonna enjoy what I think is the best hidden spot in Tokyo, Jindaiji Temple. So, Jindaiji Temple, it's not actually a single temple, it's a collection of a lot of temples. Then there's a lot of cozy stalls with some souvenirs and food. I think Jungle and Mirna are gonna try mochi for the very first time. I think uh, Jungle is a very picky eater. It will be a little bit uh, challenging for him. And then there is a Gegi no Kitaro store over there. That's an old anime. Yeah, the creator used to live in this area in Chofu. So this place is all about Gegi no Kitaro. And uh, we're gonna take a look at the store in a little while. Let's first check out all the temples. Jindaiji Temple, what can I say? This has to be my favorite temple in all of Tokyo. And not many people know about it. It has a vibe that you just cannot find in the center of Tokyo. So let's explore and see what we can find. So here we have Daruma. He's very white, it's so sunny here. It's a traditional Japanese thing and you make a wish and you color in one of his eyes and if the wish comes true, you color in both eyes. It looks like whoever owns this giant Daruma made a wish, didn't come true yet. So uh, yeah, maybe he needs to throw in a few more coins here at the shrine to make his wish come true. So there is this strange wooden man and you can make a wish with the coin. And then you get to touch wherever you want to heal or feel better. Doctor recently said there's something uh, might be wrong with my heart, so I'm gonna touch my heart. And maybe my shoulder. My shoulder has been hurting recently. So yeah, can't be too greedy. I'll leave it at that. But there's more to Jindaiji than just temples. There are also a lot of nice little shops. And they feel really authentic. They don't feel touristy like all the other shops in the center of Tokyo. So let's see if we can find a nice little snack here. So Mirna will try mochi for the first time. It's very chewy. <laughs> it's just rice. Just crushed rice. Very sticky rice. Yeah, very a lot of people die in Japan from this every year. <laughs> Old people, yeah. Okay, next Jungo is gonna try one bite. Jungo is a very picky eater. <laughs> He's gonna do it for the video. <laughs> One bite, one bite, Jungo. One bite. You have to try it, you're only in Japan once. So disgusting. No, try one bite, you can spit it out. Mirna has paper, you can spit it out if you want. No. Yeah. Looks so bad. I can see, no, it's so good. The, the, in, what's inside is really good. No. Jungo, you have to try. I don't have to try. You have to try. No. Jungo, I'm taking you everywhere, spending a lot of my precious time. You have to try it. You didn't even sing at the karaoke bar, so I... I played, I played most loudly on my ocarina, so... Go on. 
It's not bad. It's not bad, right, Marina? No. It's sweet. It's sticky. <laughs> it's just rice. It's just rice, Jonga. No, why is it green? What do you know? <laughs> why is rice green? That's because of the grasshoppers, the crush, the, the crushed grasshoppers. Yeah. Grasshoppers. <laughs> So alright everyone, let's hear it in the comments for Jungo. It took a little bit of convincing, but in the end, he did it. So we have arrived at the main attraction of Jindaiji Temple. Here is the Gege no Kitaro store. It's so cool, there's a little museum in there as well. I think we'll visit that, you'll have to see that if you come to Jindaiji. And today is free, especially for us, for the cheapskate Dutch people, they made it free. <laughs> And very important first, to take off your shoes. So this is Kitaro Chan Kun. Kitaro Kun. He's the main character from the show. And this is actually his father, this eyeball. So here we have the creator of Gege no Kitaro, he's at Jindaiji Shrine. Creative genius, thank you for your lovely stories. Alright, that was uh, short but sweet, but uh, it's a little bit small, but yeah, definitely go inside. Here's one more scary spider. And now we'll check out that store, now that we can recognize all the characters, all the monsters. Let's see what's in the store. It's a little bit busy inside this store, but it actually makes me happy to see all these people appreciate Gege no Kitaro. Manga. So the shop is a little bit too busy. Let's see what else we can find here in Jindaiji. So here we have very special a white tanuki. They are very rare. There are some tanukis that are completely white. They're not albino or albinos. They are just white by themselves and they're very lucky. And I just felt some sort of scary insect touch me. Is there something on me, Jungo? I saw, I saw something falling. I, I don't think, know what it was. I think it was the tanuki blessing me. Wait, is it this? No. It's Wait. a gaijin tanuki, that's why it's white. Alright, I think that's our cue to keep going. We're actually getting a little bit hungry. So let's see if they have some good food around here. So this place, Chofu, where we are, is famous for soba. So we're gonna eat some delicious soba here. And uh, yeah, the spot is so nice with the little pond over here. Really cozy. I love Jindaiji. Okay, Jungo, show your slurping skills. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of sound, but the noodles don't move. <laughs> So that's it for Jindaiji. What did you guys think of Jindaiji? There were a lot, Very of, cool. lot of shibas and I love shibas. So it's my favorite place. Yeah, there were a lot of dogs. Jungo says it's its favorite place. I think, uh, yeah. Jindaiji, please go here. <laughs> no one comes here. It's such a nice place. But the day is not over yet. We're gonna head to the bus. I can see it over there. We're just about to miss it. And we're gonna head to the river mm -hmm. to see some fireworks. And we might also stop by Chofu city. So we managed to get that bus. It was a little bit busy inside. Everyone is heading to see the fireworks. So we're gonna make a quick little pit stop at the supermarket to get some snacks. Jungo and Mirna needed a little bit of help in the supermarket. But now we're on our way to the fireworks. So it's starting to get pretty crowded already. Everyone's walking to the river. I like it. It's a really cozy atmosphere. There's an old man with a sque squealing bike. Only in Chofu City. And talking about only in Chofu City, man with a lizard 
on his hat. That's right, only in Chofu City. So as expected, there's an enormous amount of people. The line for the toilet is, uh, I think if you stand in line now, it's one hour till the fireworks. You might still catch a little bit of the fireworks. So uh, I'm gonna have to hold my pee for one and a half hours. And we wanted to get some food, but uh, it's a crazy, crazy, crazy line. So it might be a little bit busy, but that doesn't make it any less cozy. Just look at this environment with the mountains in the background. This is the life. It's already dark. We've been waiting for a long time. The mayor of Chofu is giving his speech right now and the fireworks are about to start. I'll try to capture it with my shitty cameras. Not sure if it's possible, but uh, yeah. Enjoy the Chofu fireworks. So that's it for the fireworks, it was pretty nice, I've seen better, I've seen worse, it was a little bit cold, I think that was the main problem. And now we're heading with all these other thousands of people to the station. <laughs> I wonder if we can all fit in the train. And we also need to pee, so uh, let's see how that will go. And what better place to find a toilet than in a restaurant? Mix with the spoon. Show your mixing skills. I like the grass. Marina is grabbing it like it's spaghetti. <laughs> I think this is one of my favorites so far. So that concludes our day. Fireworks, Abura Soba, Jindaiji Temple, most importantly. And uh, yeah, we have many more things planned. I think next we might go to Odaima, one of my favorite spots. It's very loud here. I hope you can hear me. But there's our train, we're gonna hop on it. And then you'll see us in the next video. Bye bye. So thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. I hope you liked it. I really love Jindaiji Temple. It's such an amazing place and barely anyone knows about it. So I wanna spread the word. I wanna tell people about Jindaiji Temple. So please like the video and subscribe and tell everyone about Jindaiji Temple. It really deserves to get